Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Matt Potts of Agility Works. We're going to be taking a look at the various different views we can create in SAP HANA in order to deliver reporting and analytical capability. We're going to be working with the scenario of profitability analysis and COPA. All of the tables that we're going to be working with in our views have already been loaded into SAP HANA from our SAP ERP system via SAP Business Objects Data Services. The first view that we're going to create is an attribute view, which is going to allow us to model our master data. So in our COPA demo package in the content area of the studio, we can create a new attribute view and start by giving it a name and a description. It's going to be of the standard type. In the next step, what I'll need to do is pick the tables I want to work with. So in my case, the customer master data table and a couple of text tables to join to. I now need to specify the fields I want to join across the different tables. And then I also need to configure those joins. So in this case, I'm linking out to text tables, so these are text joins. And I also need to specify the field which represents the language column. And it should have copied the properties across to the other join in the same table, so the text join and the language column. The next thing I then need to do is actually pick some output fields for my view. So the customer number is going to be the key. We're going to have the country key as an attribute. We're also going to have the city and also the region field. So I see my output fields over here on the right hand screen. And for some of these output fields, what I just need to do is specify the description field for those. So first of all, the customer number, which field holds the description of the customer. It's the name one field in the KNA one table. And then the same for the country and the region keys. I don't need to worry about a description mapping for this field here, which represents the city, because the key is actually the city description anyhow. Just before I save and activate the view, I'm going to create a calculated attributes, and this is going to concatenate together the region and the country. So it's data type varchar, length five, and I just need to go down here and build the formula. So the region concatenated with a slash, encapsulated by an apostrophe. And finally, the country key will just validate that formula and add that into our view. So I'm just going to validate what I've done before I save and activate the view. So down here we have the status of what we're building. We're looking for that activation to say completed successfully. And then what we'll be able to do is actually see the data in the three tables that we've joined in the view. So back over on the left hand pane, let's do a right click and data preview on our attribute view. And that now shows us all our customer master data. In the example of the country, we see both the key and the description with our mappings. And we also have our calculated attribute, which is concatenating together the region and the country. And there is the first of our views, our attribute view to model our customer master data. So the second view we now like to go on and create is an analytic view. This is where we're going to take a table which holds some transactional data, some business postings, again around profitability analysis. And we want to then link that out to our modeled attribute views, which we already know contain our master data. So let's go over to the COPA demo package again, and this time go and create an analytic view. And then give it a name and a description. So 
So the first thing I must do is pick my transactional table which holds the business postings. An analytic view is a very similar concept to that of InfoCube in BW, so we can think of this table as the fact table that sits in the middle with all of the transactions in. Then the next step I'm going to pick my attribute views that I want to use in this analytic view. So I'm going to use the customer attribute view we just created for our customer master data. And I'm also going to reuse a couple of other attribute views that exist in different package, which are for other master data such as division material and sales org. So it is possible to reuse your attribute views across the different models. This will then open us out another tab in the HANA modeler where again we can just configure the necessary things that we need to do in here. So in the data foundation, this is my uh, my transactional table. I need to do a couple of things in here. First of all, there's a couple of fields I'd like to filter on. So when I'm data previewing is filtering the data that I'm reading from that table. So in this case, we want to apply a couple of filters to a couple of different fields and fix those here in the model itself. It is possible in an analytic view to use things like variables so the user can choose what they want the filter values to be at query runtime in the front end reporting clients. The only other thing I now need to do in here is actually pick some output fields. So I'm gonna pick attributes, business evaluation objects, and some measures as well. So for attributes, first of all, the period and the year, the fiscal year, customer number and material number, then some organizational data such as the company code, the controlling area, the plant, and the sales organ division. And then lastly, I'm gonna pick a few of the fields which represent business measures, KPIs, scores. I just need to scroll down to find those. And I'm going to use the gross revenue here. So I'm going to add that as a measure and also the sales deduction as a measure as well. So now what we have is some output fields that we've just picked from the data foundation. So I'm going to toggle across the logical view now. So we see again the data foundation, that transactional table, and also all of the attribute views that we want to consume in this analytic view. And now what I need to do is just build out the links between these different views. So the customer number, the materials, the divisions and the sales orgs. So linking out to these attribute views will allow us to report on things like descriptions and other master data attributes such as material group, country, regions and cities of a customer number. We're nearly ready to save and activate the view and then preview the data. What I'd just like to do on my measures is just rename these to give them a bit more of a business meaningful description. So this one is going to be the gross revenue and this second one is going to be the sales deduction. What I'd also like to do in here is create a couple of calculated measures. In fact, we'll just go for the one. We'll create something called net revenue. And what this will allow us to do is say we'd like to take the gross revenue less the sales deduction to give us our net revenue. It's a decimal 13 and two. We'll just validate the syntax and then click on OK. There's other things that we can do in the analytic view, we can create the variables to determine the filter values at runtime, as I've already mentioned. We can also create restricted measures as well, so filtered measures, and we can also perform things like currency conversion as well. I'm now gonna validate the model before saving and activating it. So we're looking for the status to be completed successfully. We may get some warnings in this particular case because we've got lowercase names. That's not a problem in this case. So now we'll go and save and activate the analytic view.
Okay, so that's now completed successfully. So if we just go back over to the navigator area. We can see we've now got this analytic view. It's the analytic views are one of the objects you can connect to in the front end reporting clients, such as visual intelligence, web intelligence, dashboards, analysis, or Excel directly that we can actually get the data from, which we'll have a look at in a later video in the series. What we can just do within the HANA modeler is just do a data preview of our analytic view. This will bring up a separate tab. And to begin with, it shows us a raw data output of all of the tables we're reading from. The good thing that we can perform within the HANA studio when we're developing is we've got the possibility to do some analytics to test our data in house. So in this particular case, I would like to have a look at by country description, my net revenues. And we might just want to quickly change the type of charts that we have available within the HANA studio. So we're now actually starting to analyze our transactional data and linking out to our master data descriptions. In this case, the description against the country. And there we go. So that's the second of the views that we're going to be creating. And that's our analytic view. So in the last step, we created an analytic view that allowed us to report on our COPA actual figures. The third and final view we're going to be taking a look at are calculation views within SAP HANA. These allow us to perform more complex modeling. One of the things we're able to do, and one of the things we'll see is it allows us to join together two analytic views such as plans and actuals in order to start comparing the figures. In this particular case, the calculation view has already been built for us. We can go and have a look at how it's been configured. There's two different ways we can model a calculation view. We can either model it graphically, like in this example, or we can model it using SQL script, which is the programming language of SAP HANA. So in this particular example, we've got an analytic view which contains our COPA actuals and an analytic view which contains our COPA plans. Above each of the analytic views, we have a projection, which is the list of fields we want to use from those particular views. In each of the two projections, we've created a calculated column, this field here, populated by either a zero or a one to indicate whether the data is plan or actual. Zero for actual, one for plans. Then in the union step, we join the fields together from the two projections into a single list of target fields before then pushing those target fields of the union into the actual output of the calculation view. A bit like analytic views, calculation views can be consumed in the front end reporting tools. What we can go and do either in the navigator area is perform the data preview against the calculation view. And again, on the analysis sub tab, I'd like to analyze by the plan actual indicator. I'd like to see, first of all, my gross revenue and also my net revenue. So I can start to compare plans versus actual figures. So there we go. That's our third and final type of view within SAP HANA, the calculation view. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please ensure you visit our website to learn more about the Agility Work services and packages around SAP HANA and also for further articles, blogs and videos.